everybody. Welcome back to Teach Me the Science. My name is Saren and today we're going to be talking about polyprotic acids. First we're going to define a polyprotic acid, then I'm going to give an example of its dissociation and relate that to its Ka value. So what is a polyprotic acid? A polyprotic acid is an acid which has multiple protons or H plus to give away. Some common examples are H2SO4 or H3PO4. Here I'm going to show you an example of H2SO4 which is a polyprotic acid dissociating. H2SO4 is a strong acid which means its first dissociation happens to completion. In other words, H2SO4 is not reformed. In the second dissociation, HSO4- minus still has a proton to give away, though this is an equilibrium reaction. HSO4- minus is a weak acid, which means it can create an equilibrium. This dissociates into H plus and SO4-2-. Minus. As you can see, because polyprotic acids have multiple H pluses to give away, they dissociate multiple times. Because H2SO4 is a strong acid, the Ka value for the first dissociation is going to be very large. Because the products are highly favored, it's easy to pluck off the H plus from H2SO4. However, because you've already plucked off one hydrogen, each successive hydrogen is going to be harder and harder to pluck off. This means that the Ka value for each dissociation is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Meaning the more hydrogens a polyprotic acid donates, the more the reactants are favored. You can also think about it the other way. If you have a large Ka value, this means it completely or close to completely dissociates. It means it's a stronger acid. As the acid donates more and more hydrogen, it's getting weaker and weaker. Here I'm going to show you how you could go through an ice chart with a polyprotic acid. First you need to write out your dissociations of your polyprotic acid. Because there are two dissociations, I'll need two ice charts. You notice that HSO4- appears in both ice charts, once as a reactant and once as a product. First, we're going to take our amount of H2SO4 and dissociate it. There's likely no H plus or HSO4 minus already in solution. We add and subtract our X's and get an expression for our first Ka. Notice here that we've gotten a value for X for HSO4 minus. This is carried over into the second ice chart. Here I'm just using Y as a different variable because I've already used X. Now our concentration of HSO4- minus dissociates and we get a second Ka expression. It's important to remember that since the first dissociation is a strong acid, it will completely dissociate. However, the second ice chart represents a weak acid and it will not completely dissociate. A problem like this will likely ask you to find the pH of the polyprotic acid. To do this, you can add your concentration of H plus from both ice tables together and use pH equals negative log to solve for the pH. That's all for this video on polyprotic acids. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.